Hey y'all, it's Betsy from Happily Ever After, etc. And I am back with another garden project. So you can see that I am over at mom's house. If you just watched the transplanting the roses video from my house to mom's house, um, we look similar because that was five seconds ago for us. But mom has all kinds of things we've been showing you when we did the paver pathway video and when we did the new garden bed video, um, gardenias, hydrangeas, some Japanese red maples, some dogwoods, a vitex, bunch of really pretty foundation like plants. Foundation plants are the big cornerstone kind of plants in a garden that you put everything else around. So these are the things that are going to get like our gardenias five, six feet tall. Uh, the hydrangeas are going to be three feet tall. Dogwoods are trees. These are your big things that are going to give you a resting place in the garden. They're probably going to be your biggest pieces. They're typically perennials, so you might plant annuals around them. So tell them where, what you had here before, Mom. And they've been here for as long as we've been here. The last owner put them in. And they were pretty enough bushes, but they weren't what mom wanted. And they were a little sharp, a little pointy. And someone may or may not have fallen into them and gotten injured. So they're gone now. It was not mom for once. It wasn't me either. So we're going to, right where the rake is, put a big gardenia bush and gardenias are great because they smell really really good I don't know how long they bloom though just in the summer months or just in the spring summer months I will try to get the audio on this decent but mom doesn't sit still long enough to have really good audio so I'm sure you hear all her crunching and um and then I think she's going to do gardenia here and one of the little blue endless summer hydrangeas in front of it. And those bloom all summer. And, they have a flush, and, then, they and then they'll go. Sporadically. Yeah. And so th they don't have just one bloom time like a lot of hydrangeas. They will bloom off and on all summer. So between the two things, we should have pretty blooms up here for most of the summer. And then we'll fill in a lot of this space with annuals. And of course, all this monkey grass is going to be taken out. So right now we're just kind of cleaning the space out. And then we are going to start planting the gardenias. Okay, we are a mess and a half, but we got the gardenias in and the hydrangeas. We're thinking that the gardenias need a support of some kind. Um, we might cut them back a little so they're less floppy next year, but not until all the buds have gone. So for now, we are done for the night. We have some more dogwoods, roses, the Japanese maples, one more gardenia, and a vitex to plant for all the foundation plantings, as well as um, the roses. We're halfway through with the rose, transplanting roses video. So we will be back to finish in a couple days, but for now, we're going to go take a break. See you in a minute, though.
All right, y'all. So as you can see, we are done. It's been, what, a couple weeks since we planted all the foundation plants. So we've got the gardenia back here, the hydrangea. You saw us, we went from the small hydrangeas to these big ones that mom found. So we're a very good price. And then what is the bush back here that you planted? It's a uh, uh, legustrum. Legustrum. So that should also get big. And then mom's going to start coming in with smaller flowers like day lilies and petunias up front but these foundation plants are what gives your garden structure so it is it's been crazy weather here it has been hot 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 and now it's raining, raining which we like the rain um, over on this side of the garden we have the same setup so we've got gardenia ligustrum hydrangea and then, of course, you saw the little Japanese maple down here and the rose. The rose wasn't a foundation plant, though. We did that in the rose video. I'll link that down below if you haven't seen it. We did a whole video on transplanting roses from my house to mom's, and you can see they are doing fabulous. They've also started taking out all the monkey grass. So once we cardboard this and put topsoil down, it'll look like a real garden bed. But... This little Japanese maple, definitely a foundation plant. It is going to get big and be a little like the showcase plant of this side of the garden. And then over here, you saw us plant the dogwood, the oak leaf hydrangea back here, and then mom planted another gardenia. So we've been coming in and planting annuals all throughout this garden bed. We built an arch been busy 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 putting all this stuff together but mainly i just wanted to show you when you're starting on a new garden bed even though mom's garden bed isn't necessarily new it's been overgrown overlooked for a long time so it's like we're starting from scratch here and uh those foundation plants the things that are going to get four or five six feet tall or trees those make a big difference so i hope you liked this video we will keep you updated Mom thinks eventually we are going to start doing garden tours here, but uh, not, not this minute. So we will keep you updated as we keep adding annuals and other flowering perennials to the garden. See you later. Bye.